Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope this message finds you well. Basically, I literally just got home a little while ago from doing my night shift. And I was talking with some of my colleagues about this at the hospital. So I'm finishing up my contract. Um, Jacksonville at the hospital that I'm at has a vaccine mandate. I know for all of you people that are like, you know, rah, rah for DeSantis. Um, but there are vaccine mandates even here in Florida. And I've talked about it before that there was a, uh, a Florida man who basically was able to bypass some of DeSantis uh, laws stating that if you, you know, remove people or ban people, etc. from work, that you would get fined. Well, at the hospital that I'm at, it's about a 12,000, has about 12,000 employees. And there's a vaccine mandate that goes into effect on the 15th of this month. So I basically gave um, my availability literally up till the 14th. So the 14th is the last day of my contract here. And then I'll be either moving on to another place where there's no mandate. I just got word of another hospital that doesn't have a mandate just yet. So I might be heading out there. I'll have to see where that place is. It might be, I heard, I heard of another one out in uh, Massachusetts that also doesn't have a mandate just yet. So I'm basically just trying to pick up as many contracts as I can and basically till I can't work anymore. And so I've been a nurse uh, 10 years. I worked in critical care and acute care and it kind of is what it is. And the money is actually pretty good. I've gotten a lot of offers uh, from different hospitals, basically everywhere. There's shortages everywhere. And one of the hospitals contacted me and they're paying like 10000 a week for a nurse. Now, mind you, you're going to be working four or five nights a week, but it's like to take home, you know, in the neighborhood of about 40000 a month for a three month uh, for a three month contract. You're talking, you know, 120 grand, obviously before taxes. So maybe around 90, 90, you know, 90, 88, 88 grand for three weeks. But it just goes to show you that there's so much money going around. I, I can just imagine what inflation is going to be like down the line. But anyway, the gist of this video was actually what we were talking about. You know, I talk a lot about the mandates with a lot of my fellow nurses. And of course, a lot of them are like, this is crazy. You know, you know, a lot of them did take it. Some of them didn't. So they're kind of like waiting. Some of them are waiting to the last minute to see if anything is going to happen. And some of them did take it and disagree with what's going on. Um, and I was telling them, oh, did you hear about this news? And so it's, I find it so interesting that stuff like this can come out. This came out four, four days ago. It says Bill Gates warns of smallpox terror attacks as he seeks research fund. And I find it so ironic that not too long ago, the FDA back in June approved of a new drug for smallpox. And they're actually talking about, of course, a vaccine. It says, right, June 4th, FDA approves new drug for smallpox. And this basically got semi fast tracked. And it's like <laughs> you kind of you kind of wonder if a lot of this stuff is just all narrative and this is basically how it's going to play out. This is how uh, how things are going to go in our country where you have countries that are utilizing diseases against their own people or whether they're going to weaponize them against other people. I mean, either scenario is terrible to think about. And this is what we have to look forward. And this is why, you know, even with my own family, I tell them, you know, you need to be prepared. You need to have, you know, some money set aside. You keep your money, you know, try to keep your money out of the bank. Store some in gold. Store some in silver. Um, have food. Start a garden. I was like getting on my father for the longest. You know, I was like, you got a lot of land out here. I was like, you need to have a garden. Got to have a garden. Start thinking about getting some chickens, get some, you know, goats, whatever you can, you've got enough land that you can do that. Because you never know what these individuals have in store uh, for people. Obviously, depopulation has been on the books for quite some time from it's why you see so much like if you've actually seen um, what's it called? Mark Zuckerberg talking about the metaverse. And if you watched on Netflix, there was a show called um, 
I think it was Black Mirror. And in that show, of course, it talks about homosexuality between men and how you can utilize, you know, online or what they refer to as um, what they're talking about is basically the metaverse. And even Mark Zuckerberg talks about this. And of course, all of this about pushing men into living these homosexual lifestyles, even if it's on the virtual world, the purpose is, of course, is always related to depopulation, whether it's, you know, Planned Parenthood primarily in black neighborhoods, you know, teaching women, you know, my body, my choice and pushing for them to basically kill their offspring or for men to lie with men. The entirety, the entirety of it is depopulation. But when that doesn't work and it doesn't produce the results that they want when push comes to shove this is the narrative of the route that elites may go they may push for we see it right now you look at um the uk the uk has an 80 percent vaccination rate from the current disease and yet they're having more outbreaks now than they did before same thing in every single country where it has gone the disease follows and you look in a lot of places like you look at africa puerto rico colombia dominican republic you know middle east like you really don't hear about the disease but it's primarily in areas where where the medication went so did the, so did the disease go and it's just something to think about you know a lot i talk with a lot of my colleagues and a lot of them are just oblivious about what is going on and all these different ways in which uh, society is being pulled and pushed and maneuvered into. And so you have to be important. You have to be mentally and spiritually awake for things that may come because we don't know uh, what the present holds for many of us. A lot of people are thinking, you know, I'm going to go to this country or that country. I'm going to go to this state, et cetera. And you think that such individuals, you know, like a Ron DeSantis have your back. But when push comes to shove, they will have no qualms putting such individuals to death. Just look what happened to the Haitian president. Look what happens to the four presidents in Africa that stated that they were by no means going to do, you know, this extensive mandate um, that many other Western countries went that route. And many of them ended up mysteriously dying. Haitian president got assassinated. And so, you never know. The best that the best that you can do is to be prepared in every single way, and at the end of the day, basically leave it in God's hands. Anyway, I just wanted to touch base. Hope everything is going well with you. I just got home from my night shift, and I'm basically gonna watch the market uh, as I do a lot of training, trading, option trading, and so I pay attention to a lot of the stuff about what's going on in the financial market, which is why, like like they always say follow the money and where the money goes is typically where the narratives follow so i'm going to basically leave it there but i found this super interesting and super suspect that literally around the same time and of course you know bill gates has been talking about uh pandemics you know this all this narrative is just come all very new and we're kind of seeing it unfold right before us. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I found, I found this to be quite interesting. Let me know what you think down below. Is this, all, is this is all coincidence? Is it by coincidence that the FDA in 2021 in June approved of a new medication for the for weaponized smallpox, while at the same time that Bill Gates is talking about how we need to be on the watch for a smallpox a terrorist attack that may come our way? Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.